There's still plenty of opportunity in the Thai range bound market. It's Wednesday, February 12th. This is the review for the S&P 500. Stay tuned and we'll show you how the day played out. Welcome back to Day Trade Like a Pro. We're looking at the S&P 500. This is a five minute chart. Now coming into the morning, we had a couple of things here that we were looking for. We said that we could pull back. Yesterday we had the 70 area that was pretty important. And we said we could pull back even today as low as down here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller down here. We had 63.75, which we said likely we would not really use again. So we had this 65.75, and then below that we had 61.5. So we could easily come back either to here or to here, but likely they still wanted to go up higher. And then we had some prices up here. That was 80. So let's walk through what happened here today. Basically, most of the day traded here between 76 quarter and this 70 area. So about a six point range most of the day trading back and forth between here. And then let's jump forward into the Globex. What finally started to happen was we got that push. We had 82 quarter right there. We had the prediction point up here at 85 quarter, but we had this intermediate price in here at 82 half, and we had the high there at 82 half. So there you have right there to the tick. And actually, let's just say for fun here, if we go back and we look right here, and you can see we posted. right here 82.50 so between these cpas we said 82.50 that was at 621 on 212 so to put that in perspective that was when the market was back over here and we gave you this price over here that was an all-time high it had never been that high so the market traded up here to the tick right there and then what did we say for the selling we said first thing would be here the 6575 area and then we had 6375 so we probe down here real quick down to that 6375 and you can see they use that right here. So we weren't necessarily thinking that would be a big area, but that was such a quick kind of pop down there. They ended up coming right down, coming right back up here. So these are, are close, 65, 75, 63, 75. So about two points away. So they used that right there and then came back here, used that again, and then have just really traded in between here. We have new prices out for Thursday, but I'm not going to get into that here. So really a great, you know, if you go here and you watch the video that we'll put up in the corner here towards the end of this, you'll see that it pretty much played out the way that we were anticipating it, but pretty much great opportunities here. I know that some traders were getting short up at the top and buying down at the bottom and each time there's about six points on that. So, you know, here you're short, long, well, you know, this one was pretty quick. So short and then long and then short and then long. So if you did six, we'll just say 12, 18, and then 24, 30, and then it did pull back to here. This was probably the best trade of the day for us was the long here off the CPA. Came right down, used it to the tick, and then we came all the way up here. So that was about 10 points right there. And then it sold off pretty hard off of there. Right back down to there. Great buying opportunities down here if you were in front of the computer. So there you have it for today. I mean, it just shows you you don't have to 
you know, maybe you didn't buy and sell every one of these, not super likely that most did that, but even six points on just one of these or two of these trades, it's a, it's a pretty good day for most. Most retail traders would give up a lot to have six points a day. So there you have it. If you're not in the live trade signals, you're missing out. And if you are in the live trade signals, we'll see you there in the morning. Also, if you have not watched the pre-market video from today, go do that. The link's up here in the corner, and we will see you in the live trade signals in the morning.